Hi, I'm Ian. Welcome to Groom Family Farm. It's been a while since I've made a video, so I figured I'd take you guys around and show you what we've been up to recently. In here, this is what's left of the summer's meat birds that we've raised. We started off with these three pens all full with 75 in each. They're 16 by 10. Now we're down to the last about 25 in this pen. These guys will be going today, it's their last day, and then we'll be all done with meat birds for the summer. We built these pens over the course of a couple of weeks this spring. They worked very well for us this year. I'm gonna set up our butcher facility so we can finish off those last four, uh, 25 meat birds this evening, and then I'm gonna hook the hay bine up to the Ford tractor. And if you were wondering, David Brown's not done yet. This is a project that we have to get finished very soon. We have the head put on it. Everything's ready to go on the motor. Just got to put the valve cover on. So now we got to put flywheel on, the clutch in, and slide the tractor back together. And then it's just a matter of putting the steering column back on, hooking up the radiator, and wiring the tractor. So here's our hay bine. It's the New Holland 477 model. It's got a seven foot cut. It's just about probably the worst shape of hay bine you'd ever see. Rusted out. And it's got some pretty bad rollers that are missing quite a bit of the rubber. It's never broke down on us. It's always cut good. It hasn't always conditioned good, since the rollers aren't the greatest. But it's what we're going to be using again this year. It's going to be our fourth year making hay this year. And I'm just going to give it a look over before we start mowing. Here's a little issue I found. Right here, on our track. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little piece of metal of the track that's bent up. So, the bearings can come right out because that's bent out. I'm gonna have to bend that back in. Well, two hours has passed, and I think I got the hay bind ready to mow. So we're gonna make a start. We're gonna be heading up the big hill behind me. Now I'm gonna unfold the mower.
all done. Hey, volume worked great. Tractor ran great. Fields all mowed. So that's going to be it for this video. You can probably hear the tractor running in the background. Tractor ran great. Haybine worked good. Uh, the Haybine reel, the track that it runs on, is really noisy, as you could probably tell from the videos. That's not in the greatest shape. It's kind of banged up, and the bearings aren't the greatest, so that's making some noise. But it's do you, how much money do you want to sink into something that's got the rust that it does and a bad set of rollers? So. We're just gonna keep using it the way it is. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. The hill is mowed now, which is good. It hasn't been done in two or three years now. And there were spru baby spruce trees and alders starting to grow up in it. And you can't really have that because you'll lose your field pretty quick if you don't keep it mowed. We're gonna end up plowing and disking and preceding that field uh, either this fall or next spring. We did end up making a couple purchases over the winter to help us do that, which I'll show you So now. here we have an Alice Chalmers four bottom semi-mount plow. This is a nice plow, the points are good. We bought this over the winter, I think it was March we got this. We're gonna put this behind my Ford that I mowed with. We, had, we have a couple fields to plow and reseed We'll be using this plow. I'm gonna run down and show you our disc that we just bought as well. So here's our Alice Chalmers disc. It's got a set of fold-out spring-loaded wings on it. And when it's all folded out, it's 18 feet wide. We got this the same place we got the plow. It's also an Alice Chalmers, which is which the plow and the disc are both. It's a model 2300. And we're gonna use this behind our Ford tractor as well after we plow. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos of plowing and disking. Those videos will come either this fall or next spring. And also for the haymaking videos that are to come. We also picked up a couple more fields this year. So there'll be a few more videos and they'll be longer and have more added to them than the previous haymaking videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.